Alright, hello guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about the pattern moving forward and I wanted to talk a little bit about this because it's going to be a little bit different than what you guys have been used to in the past and I haven't really made a pattern video when the pattern looks like this so it's going to be quite interesting. Now, the models have been flip-flopping, I want to mention that so this could really change quite a bit but right now this is what the models seem to be agreeing on and, and as far as just like the oscillations and everything goes according to the models it all adds up so as long as it doesn't switch all that stuff this does look quite reasonable now for snow and cold lovers this is really bad news but I'll talk about why you should be optimistic about it in a little bit now you can see right here from the GFS this looks really really warm across the entire United States this is what we would call a torch or a zonal flow really there's no troughs anywhere at this point in time this is by the 20th of December so by five days from now we will be in a warmer pattern now we've had cold in the east but that's really gonna switch up and it looks like things are gonna be really warm or close to average some areas near the coast but really warm for the most part now also by the 23rd you can see there is a little area of troughiness there in the east it looks like according to the GFS and European model this is an agreement that there will be a trough somewhere 22nd 23rd time frame and I also look for a snowstorm to be somewhere on the east coast as well during this time frame so this does look like a good time frame but it's one of the only ones now you can see right here this is the kind of jet stream look this is the 250 millibar wind stream streamlines and this is really where you can see the upper winds in the atmosphere and really make out those troughs and ridges and you can see there's a good trough in the east there and you can even see a low pressure system so again a snowstorm could be in the area this is by the 22nd so that's going to be Saturday the 22nd and you can see it does have ensemble support here as the GEFS does have this as well now you can see that the ECMWF has this as well. Cold down there in the southeast. It does have warm in Maine. I think that it could be cold on the entire east coast, though. Uh, also, the, the EPS, which is the European Ensemble, does have this as well. So that does have ensemble support as well. But you can see that the EPS, by the 28th, is warm again in the east, cold in the west. So even though we will have a cold pattern around the 22nd, it looks like things are going to be warm after the Christmas time frame, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. But here's the GEFS snowfall, and you can see that even though it will be warmer, it will be snowy. There will be snow across the entire northern United States, according to this model, and according to our EPS models. This is good news if you're a snow lover. If you're not a snow lover, this is probably bad news to you. But even in a warm pattern, there will be enough opportunities to where there should be snow across the entire northern United States, and a lot of it in some areas, in those purple areas, over the next 360 hours. Anyway, guys, this has been a quick look at the pattern. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button if you did. Let me know that you do enjoy this type of video. Anyway, have a great next two weeks or however long this video covers. See you guys later.